Hey guys, and welcome back to Making Rehab Fun Again. This video is for those of you who might be wondering how to use a controller, specifically the Xbox Adaptive Controller, with a computer. First of all, Microsoft recommends that you use the Xbox Adaptive Controller with a Windows 10 computer for the best results. You can connect your ZAC to a computer either using the USB cord it came with or by using Bluetooth. To connect your ZAC using a wired connection, simply plug the micro USB cord into the back of the Xbox Adaptive Controller and plug the USB port into your computer. And just like that, it's connected. To connect your ZAC using Bluetooth, you're going to want to open your settings menu and choose the device options. Next, you need to make sure that your Bluetooth is on and then you're going to select add Bluetooth or other device. Once in that menu, you will select the Bluetooth option. If you haven't already done so, you will need to turn on your Xbox adaptive controller by holding down the Xbox button. Once it's turned on, you will need to hold down the sync button on the top right side of the controller until the Xbox button blinks rapidly. You may need to wait a second while your computer searches for the device. Once your computer finds the device, you will see an option to connect the Xbox Adaptive Controller. Select the controller to connect. Once connected, the computer will tell you your connection is successful and you can click Done. Your ZAC is now ready to use with controller-friendly games. So let's explore our options. What are controller-friendly games? Steam is a common gaming platform you can download on your computer where you can buy games. Steam boasts that users have access to over 30,000 games on their platform. When you visit Steam, you can browse through their online store. You can buy any game after making a free account and downloading the Steam program onto your computer. In my opinion, the easiest way to play a game using your Zach is to find games that are controller friendly. Rocket League is an example of a controller friendly game. But there are other games you can download for free, like this game called Haberdashers. Once you download a game, you might realize that you need to reconfigure your buttons on your Zach. For example, if you are playing Rocket League using the Zach, you may want to use the large B button to accelerate as opposed to the right trigger on the traditional controller. To do this, you will need to remap your Zach. You can do this on your Xbox One or on your Windows 10 computer using the Xbox Accessories app. You will need to open the Xbox Accessories app. Once loaded, you can click the Configure button at the bottom. Select Add Profile. You can title your profile so you remember which profile you use for which game. I am titling this profile Rocket League. After naming your profile, select the Edit option to switch the buttons. For this configuration, I want the large B button to be remapped to the right trigger input, so I'm going to reverse the right trigger in the B button. If you do this on the Xbox, you have to swap the right trigger in the B. It will not let you save the button layout if B does not have a home. After you have changed the button, go back to the Xbox Adaptive Controller menu. Select a slot for your profile. I want my Rocket League profile to be saved under slot 2. Your Xbox Adaptive Controller can save up to three profiles, so you can change the profile during gameplay. To access your new profile using the Xbox Adaptive Controller, you just have to hit the Saved Configurations button until the second slot lights up. Now that my controller is configured, I can use my preferred buttons and joysticks to play Rocket League on my computer. If you have any other questions or concerns, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.